Hi guys and welcome to this week's edition of Cooking with Sally and Steve. So Sally, this week we're going to make my particular favourite dessert, apple crumble and custard. That's it, apple crumble and custard. But so, I'm mega excited. Yeah, we've picked the hottest day of the year I think so far. Yeah we have, we picked the hottest day of the year. We didn't realise that at the time did we? Yeah, you just have to have cold custard then. No, never. It's got to be warm, no lumps, not congealed, no thickness, just... No skin. Yeah. Right. Right. right, so before we get started, I'm going to wash my hands. Yeah. Different song this week? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm forward to one this week. No. No. But in a two hour Zoom meeting, and my brain is frazzled. The only thing that's got me through it, Sally. It's a thought to be an apple crumble. Apple beer. crumble and custard. Mm -hmm. You are right, it is typically a winter warmer. But today it's going to be a summer sizzler. A summer sizzler, yeah. Yeah. About the cold custard. Big Steve, bang an apple crumble. Okay, so. Nice yeah. yeah, you can see you, Sally. That's right, that's just some short, you see. So I'm going to tell you what was going okay. to say. So first we're making the apple crumbles. The first thing we need to do is, is, is put the oven on, which I have done already. Um, electric oven, we're going to set that to 180 degrees centigrade. If it's a fan oven, you want to turn it down a bit to say about 170 degrees centigrade. Um, 350 Fahrenheit if you've got a plain electric oven and it's an older, an older one. And gas mark four. So, uh, but as I said before, that all ovens vary. Okay, so if we go through go through the ingredients, Steve. So you've got all the ingredients for the topping. For the crumble, we've got oats. Porridge oats, fifty grams. If you've got them. Fifty grams of porridge oats. They give a nice crunch, but but you can actually, you know, these little sachets of instant porridge. Yeah. Yeah, we could use one of those. Brilliant. Yeah, uh, I've got two fifty grams of butter, and it's been diced up into small chunks. We've got uh, brown sugar, 200 grams of brown sugar, and it's a mixture of white and brown. Brown sugar. Yeah. And the final ingredient is flour. Flour? And it's yeah. not self raising, it's just flour, isn't it? Well, that is self raising because it's only, only stuff you've got in the, in the cupboard. Like we do at home, you know, don't always have all the ingredients. But it'll work just as well. The other thing that I've, I've said, the butter we've got is salted butter. Okay. So that means we don't have to put a pinch of salt into the, the topping. Sick. Okay. So. What's our first step then, Sally? The first step? Oh, we've got, and we've got three massive cooking apples. Yeah, these, these are brownies. Um, so they're cooking apples, they will cinnamon. We've got a bit of jelly cinnamon. Yeah. She is about to different from the rest. 50 Diamonds grams of sugar. Her fingers and she always looks Get brown. She but white will do, that's fine. This is for the, uh, the apple bit. And just a tablespoon of flour. Okay. So, and we've got the the brownie apples. I've cut, I've cut some up already, but we'll do that in, in a moment. But the, the brownie apples, they're cooking apples, they just, they, they tend to collapse. If you like apples to keep the shape, there's nothing wrong with using cooking apples. Like, like John Jones collapsed on a squat challenge last week. Yeah. Me and Sally first and second. Me yes. being a true sportsman, that's yeah. Sally went. I was determined to beat you. Had headache for ages after that. <laughs> and I had Bobby Likes. <laughs> okay, so if we make the topping first. Okay. So you want to... I'm gathering up, we're going to sift our flour first. Yeah, you sift your flour first, yeah. Sift it too. I'm not just pouring it into a bowl. If, if to crumble, if you haven't got to, if you haven't got a sieve at home, just whack it straight in the bowl. Yeah. Okay. Yes, that's all sifted in. Gets all the lumps out. Yeah. And no one wants, wants lumpy crumble. That's the lumpy crumble, all right. It will be crumble because what it will be because we we'll get some lumpy bits in it. Right, you just put the sugar in there. All of it? All of it. Don't need to sift this, do I? No. Get it. And then just give it a mix, a mix around. With me, with the spoon, with my hands. A spoon for Yeah. Just mix it 
Right, the next the next bit is to add, add the butter. I, I would add a little bit at a time. Is this with my hands? That would be hands. You just basically have to get your hands in here. So a few pieces. Yeah. Have you made pastry before? No. No. Sally, I've never really cooked before. That's the whole point. Mm -hmm. The whole point is spending these Wednesdays with you. Yeah, make all your favourite dishes. Yep. Yeah. Um, so, this, this is the same technique you'd use in pastry, it's rubbing in. So, when you put your hands in, yeah. you're just using the tips of your fingers. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Yeah. And there's so, 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 what you're trying to do is rub the butter into the flour, not melt it into the flour. Ah. So, you can just lift your hands up and, you know, um, just the tips of the fingers. And if you've got, if you, if the, do you have cold hands or hot hands normally? Well, I'll give you the clue, Sally. People tell me that I've got a warm heart. All oh, right, hot hands then. Oh, cold hands. Cold warm. hands. Oh, cold hands then. Cold, cold hands, warm oh, heart. Oh, right. I'm just going around, but. Yeah. So. Warm hands, cold heart. Yeah. Well, if you got warm, if you have warm hands, it's not you don't, it's not something for making pastry. I've got cold hands then. Keep things cool. Yeah. Yeah. So you have rubbing in, and then put a little bit more butter in. Yeah. Sticky. Warm. Not the, not the ideal temperature for making pastry in. I crumble. Yeah. If you go if you go into a pastry kitchen in a hotel, they're usually a very cool area. Yeah. But I'm a cool guy, so. Yeah. So you'll keep it all cool then. Yeah, mum. And so we put it in the oven. <laughs> so how's that looking? I'll get a trusty tool and we can use it all. It's all going to be mixed in and if you sort of pull the, yeah, and if this flower at the bottom. Yeah. And then put some more in. Put some more in here. Put some more in. I put a lot in now and then just put it in. So the finished effect is that you want it to look like, um, like breadcrumbs. I did, it's because I'm thinking of the fan oven. The fan oven? Yeah. I'm not quite sure the link there. I'm your biggest fan. Uh, Pavarotti by Lady Gaga. I think it's Lady Gaga, uh, anyway. We done the Warrington quiz last night and Calvin won. Yeah. But this will be going up next week, so by that time we've done another quiz, so we don't know. Right. What was it, general knowledge or? General knowledge, <laughs> music, TikToks. Yeah. Do you know what the average time for the TikTok is? Okay. 15 seconds. I didn't know that. What, the number of times it gets watched or just the length of the film? No, the length of the, you, only, you can only make it a 15 second yeah. TikTok unless you, you, unless you link them. Yeah, I knew that. Ah, uh, well, mm. I didn't, but I got the question right. And did you know, what does a camel's hump store? Fat. Yeah, you're off the camera there, Sally. I'm off the camera, I'm off yeah. the camera. Sally is with us. <laughs> but yeah, camel's hump store fat and not water. I feel like I've had my whole life lied to me. Yeah. Stores fat so when they, when they can't eat, it keeps them going. I was thought it stored water so because when you couldn't drink. But hey ho, learn something new. Lots of wild ones in Australia. Well. Camels, lots of wild camels. In Australia? Mm -hmm. I rode on one in yeah. Morocco. What's it like? It was a humpy ride. <laughs> you get spat at? No, knew better, didn't it? And I battered it. When the ears go back, it gets fat up when it's stressed. It's not very nice. How's that looking? Oh, fabulous! Yeah, that's that. Was done. So just so you guys can see, <coughs> like breadcrumbs. Yeah, I think you need to wash your hands again, Steve. Oh, do I? I thought we were just going to mix it all in. Bit of social distancing dancing. Yeah. I feel like dancing. Sometimes I go to, to work when clubs and things open. They're not, are they? 
nightclubs are. Well, look, oh, oh, well, yeah, well, when you mentioned we put the spots on the floor last week, but to stand there on the dance floor, we can't get any clothes, so on. Right down the dance floor, aren't you? Right, there's me blue belt. Blue belt, set. Yeah. What are we doing now, Sally? Okay, so we just put that to one side. All right. And we'll do the prepare the, the apples. Oh, okay. easy you to hide you, you know, we, we've used using fresh apples, but you can get quite nice tinned apples as well. Mm -hmm. All right. We've washed these, haven't we? Yeah, and they just to the peel them. Yeah. That'll take take quite a bit of time to peel, so I have. I have Say done a few earlier. Oh, you're going for one piece, like no. It's like a collar. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't need that, did we? No. That's in the bin, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there's, there's, the, the orange bowl's got bits in anyway, so try to work tidy. And then it's... So we just put that in there. Yeah. So we're making sure that we get all the skin off, aren't we, Sally? Get all the skin off, yeah. And yeah. then we're going to have to core them. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah. So that's taking taking the middle bit middle bit out. You know, so you don't really want picks and things. You need crumble really here. No, because no one wants a, an apple tree growing in the stomach, do they, Sally? No. And I don't want to be responsible for people's mums and dads falling up and saying. He told them to make it with the cord in it, and now he's got an apple tree growing in his stomach. What are you going to do? You have to plant them in bacon and pound. None of us want that, do we, Sally? No, no. Let's keep us apart from people. Yeah, they have gone like slightly mad. Yeah. It's what happens when you don't see young people for however many know. weeks it's been now. You, you go a little bit mad yourself. Yeah, it's not the same here, is it? Nope. Nope, an empty building. No. I missed them deep down. We do meet, yeah, we do. People wandering past there. They've heard this come along today. I know, yeah. They'll all be queuing up at the door. Getting crowds, aren't they? At a social distance, of course. <laughs> Gordon yeah, Ramsay rang me the other week. Who rang you? Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, what you say? He wants to know how to, uh, how to make a bang and chicken stir fry. I said, listen, mate. You've made your money. Oh, you didn't share your recipe then, did you? No, did they all? Mm -hmm. This is my time to share. Mm -hmm. I think that restaurants and hotels are really struggling at the moment. It's a lot. Won't be open. Oh, there was the Bowl Street. The Bowl Street aren't they putting all um, okay. the skiers outside? They yeah, are, they're closing the streets off, which is a great idea, especially in this weather. Yeah. We're taking off a few of the, uh, the breeze bits, Sally. Yeah. Just cutting them out. Yeah. Now mine have been just begin to brown slightly because I've peeled them a little bit again, so. Right. Okay, so you've got your apple. Do we need my knife? Do we need your knife? Okay, so these are quite small paring knives. Yeah. Be really careful with this and please, if you've got a responsible adult at home, ask right. them to do it or at least get them to supervise. Right, I'm going to, so if you hold your knife to so fairly rather than like that, yeah. big on top, so you've got quite a good grip. And we're going to do a bridge here. So put your hand over like that. And then get your knife in between and you can cut through the apple. So we're cutting it basically in half? In half, yeah. Now these are quite small knives the size of the apple. So you just have to be really careful. Okay. Really important guys that you are careful during doing this. Okay. Right, so just turn them sort of like flat side onto the board. Yeah. And then just the same, cut each half into quarters. Half and half again. Yeah. Okay. Bit of a maths here lesson. Yeah. So we can see that see that one. Mine's got a bit bit of a pretty grotty core. I don't yeah. See that. Well, yours is quite nice. Yeah. But, but you can see 
that, that's it, on the apple, it's sort of like a circle. I can, I that's can see. That's what you call is, yeah? Yeah. So, two ways you can do it is, you can just cut straight down and take it out that way. Okay. That just wastes a bit more apple, but it's uh, probably a bit better on your fingers. Make sure we get core out. Yeah. Or if you've got it, that if you've got a core, if that some people might have a core at home, which is like a, a circular blade, you push that in the apple and just get the core out that way. Yeah. You know, like if you're doing big big tassels. I'm doing it the way that you showed me, Sally, because I'm not, I'm not that confident yeah. with knives yet, so I'm gonna. So it's the easier way you're doing it, which we, is totally yeah. okay. We do have all these apple slices. I don't know if you guys can see that. I know, I know a lot of folks come in the kitchen. I quite like using this. It's got very sharp blades on the other side. You've got to be careful with it. And you can put that over the, the apple and take cut it into pieces and it takes the core out. But unfortunately, these apples are a bit big for it. Oh wow! And that's cheap. So, and then, Sally, what do we... Okay, again, using your bridge, cut each piece into half again. Right. Okay, and if you want to use a small piece, you cut them sharply. In half again. Obviously, obviously, the smaller pieces of apple you've got, the quicker they will cook. To cook down, yeah. So we'll end up with a huge bowl of apple, which will then all cook down in the. So where is our bowl of apple? So we can start putting the apple in. Are they are they roughly the size that. Right, we don't put them in yet. Yeah, or have we got them smaller again? Yeah. So we just move our apples to one side. So what we should do is you remember your claw that we've used before. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. So just make, make sure you've got room on your then. board. Yep. Yeah. So you've got plenty of room around your knife and you've not, not got too. Okay. Yeah. And I'm just going to sit it into thin slices. Oh. So maybe I got a bit carried away then, didn't I? Hmm? I got a bit carried away then. Yeah. I? Again, with these knives, they're very sharp, so make sure that your hand is. I clear off. Fingers well out of the way, yeah. So make sure that your claw is that, you, that your fingers are. Claw! Sorry, I'm just doing a bit of toy story. Still try and keep your fingers out of the way. Yeah. But I said before, you can use tinned apples. Um, you can get packs of frozen apples as well. They'll, they'll all work. Um, it always tastes nice with the fresh apples, doesn't it, Sally? Fresh apples are nice, but it can make equally nice crumbles with other fruits. Yeah. So like one of the ones that um, the store could be one is pineapple, pineapple crumble. Stop it. Yeah, tin pineapple and some loads of, I know a load of iron people like love tin pineapple. It just makes I had a conversation good. yesterday with a colleague from when I was in London. What are we saying is the best, pineapple or watermelon? I'm going pineapple all day. But that's just me. Pineapple, pears, pear crumbles, nice pear ginger. Rhubarb. Yeah, Sally goes again with the ginger jokes. So you've got to get a bit of ginger in, haven't you, Sally? I know. We do like ginger. I love ginger. Ginger's probably now my new favourite smell. Yeah. It tastes. Yep. Yeah. I love that on me. Oh, that's not how good on our, uh, our recipe, but I think that's what made our chicken stir fry banger. Yeah. If I'm being quite honest with you. The ginger, yeah, because it was a ginger one, so. Yeah. yeah. I'll just put this in here. <coughs> We've got quite a lot of apples there. Sally, I've been told I've got to take some home today for this as well. Oh, not right. for me, not for me. I don't want to eat mine here. But I've got to take some, just apple crumble. Not custard, just apple crumble. We do take one. Yeah, I've got to do a bit. I've got to put some in a takeaway carton. Okay, so what you could do there is. Are we doing this one as well? 
we've got probably got plenty there. So put it in, Sally, come on. Okay, okay. So while I'm, while I'm doing that, you've got to tip your... Um, apple. In the apple, just put sugar. Sugar? The sugar? White sugar. Yeah. Tip that in. And cinnamon. Bit of jerry. Yeah. Do you, like, she, do you like do you like a lot of cinnamon or? She is about a different from the rest. Half, about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon in. Diamonds on her fingers and she always looks about she is a gangster. You don't want to overdo that because it will go for too long, so. That was a bit. Yeah. It's probably plenty in there already. Yeah. A bit. Yeah. 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 A bit excited. Jerry. Mm -hmm. Well, if you did this other side, it's a sprinkle side. Do it, but do we like mix that up or? Yeah. Just use a spoon again. The spoon. Yeah. Oh, the smell of cinnamon. I'm trying to think of like what cinnamon reminds me of. The smell it reminds me of like when I was younger for some reason and I went somewhere and I don't think it was Christmas. We got some posh. We didn't have cinnamon at Christmas in our house. We had coal. It smells amazing though, cinnamon. I, I'm sure it's like a school trip when we went somewhere and we, yeah. It's German, it's German anyway. It's good. No, no. Okay, so it's See, kid, factory, kids, okay. kids of today are so lucky. We never used to get to go to them. Um, no. I have been to Germany since. Germany's probably one of my favourite places to go. Mm. And to Munich and Berlin, both of them were equally as good as do that. Berlin. I think I probably preferred Berlin. Yeah. You been to Germany, Sally? Yeah. Yeah, I spent. Two weeks, but I spent two weeks out there. Well, I spent no more than that. Um, once I didn't say it's as much the country, or this is cities, because I was in territorial army at the time, it was our annual camp, so I was oh, amazing. driving around in a military land over and things. Are you still in the TA? No, not now. No, no. It's good. Now that's how I got my uh, HGB, uh, HGB license to the TA. What a barracks was you there? Oh, where did we go into? I can't remember. It was a long time. We were going to. We put that in, Sally. Yeah, well. Yeah, and then the other time, my sister was living out, lived out in Germany because her husband is in the forces, so I went out to went out to visit her. I can't remember the town. Do you know it's not that far from Dusseldorf. Do you know what would have been nice? I don't know. I'm getting mixed up. If we put some like raisins in, like strudel, but you could do. Yeah. But no, we, we'll leave it as it is because we've got some fussy members of the team. Yeah. Who, I don't really like things. I just want the best thing. Not mentioning no name, it's got white hair. Oh, because not me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so don't put some of the apple in both of those cross dishes. Your hands are clean. It will, will shrink down. And then whatever's left, we can put in with a, with a bit more. So, and then you put the rest of it in the other dish, and then you can look crumble, it makes more crumble. Okay, so with, with that, with that, then if you sort of get your own seeds, your own seeds will be. Uh, Mix your oats into the um, shopping mix. Into this? Yeah. Put my oats in. Put your oats in, give them a mix around. Just a bit of spoon. Move my hands. You should think, no. Otherwise, you've got to have to do something when you're looking at throwing fingers again. Yeah, that's a, good, that's a good point, Sally. Yeah. No, what, Sally, that's why you're here. <laughs> you're the brains. It's where you get, you get all, all the pastry that you stuck on your hands in. Sally is the brains of the operation. Allegedly. <laughs> oh, I've not gone through the, the we've gone through the ingredients, but I've not gone through the, all the weights, did I? So quickly went through it. So Lewis, Lewis will put them up on the film. Yes. Yeah. Because he's good like that. Lewis is really good. He is. So that's all mixed in, Sally. That's all mixed in. Okay, and I just put that over the top of your 
Can we just do one there? Just see how we go. That's been off camera. I thought I'd pop up over here. Yeah. That's still off camera. Where's Sally gone? Yeah. I'm hiding. Oh yeah. Back on camera. Okay. Just squeeze it all out a bit. Okay. More. Yeah. Put more. Want plenty of topping, don't you? Yeah. Do that. And what I tend to do as well is that um, I sprinkle a little bit of water on top. Why is that, Sally? It just makes it a bit, a bit more crunchy. Okay. So there's a dish there. Oh, there. How much am I putting on? Only, only just a little, little sprinkle of water. Just put me, um, yeah. I'm just wash my hands because what you said would happen has happened, Sally. Okay, yeah. A little bit of cold water. Yeah, so probably about a, a couple of tablespoons. Yeah. Some, sometimes I do it when I mix it into the um, sauce. Different from the rest, diamonds are fingers and she always does the cold today. That's not too much? Yeah, just get, just get your tablespoon and just sprinkle a couple of tablespoons over the top. That's you call me all the This is a tablespoon, it's a bigger than a easy to spoon. What do we need to do? Just sprinkle it. Again, there's lots of different crumble recipes as well. Put nuts and all sorts in, in, in your topping if you're not not sensitive to nuts. You are a bit nuts, Charlie. Me? Only a bit. Mm. Like a whole nut. Mm-hmm. More or less? Yeah, that's fine. More? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Yep. No, no. We're done. Okay. We're done. Not me. We're done. And so that can go in the oven. We'll use this back one because at least you can see people on camera then. I want to use it's a preheated oven. It's a preheated oven. I said before that this one's preheated to 180. I've got my um, oven gloves on. These are too awkward, these ones. You probably don't need them just put it in, it's the taking out. Okay. Do you want to say? Just to go catch yourself oh. inside the oven. I'm just pop it in the middle. Not too far to the back. And that's Is that, that okay? Yeah. And that will take about 35 minutes to, to cook. Press with the flour in. Oh, so we do. It'll be fine. So, what we can do with the flour is you can mix it in, mix it in with the the apple. So when it's mixed in with the apple, it just helps thicken, thicken the juice. Yeah. Brilliant. Cool. Okay. We'll see you in 35 minutes, guys. I will have a quick clear of the kitchen, and then we'll be ready to taste the cool. Okay. And to be fair, it won't be 35 minutes because we're just going to stop the video now, and then we'll start again. When the crumbles made. Yeah. See you in a bit. Bye. Back up. Back up. Hi, Liz. Thirty-five minutes have been, hasn't it, Sally? Yeah. So I'm gonna get our apple crumble. I moved it to the bottom of the oven because it's just catching slightly. You probably might find it's easy to move the tray out, but. Uh, you just put it on top of the stove, and, um, so it's, it's not on the front surface. Look at that. Yeah. Whoa. Apple crumble. Carry on cooking. Made by moi. That's fair. Right, I'm going to take them off a sec. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to. What are we going to do? Custard. How, how do we do that? Right, okay, so we are going to use a carton of custard. There are many different alternatives of custard that are out there that you can purchase. So we've got instant, have you ever had the instant custard? We just have yeah. water. Yeah, that's, that's alright. Yep, yeah, sure is, that's probably the one that I have most. Yeah, it's quick, it's easy, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, or you could make, you know, if you want to make your own custard with the custard powder and milk and... 
or if you feel really chef, you can make, make it with eggs and cream. Yes, chef. Yeah. You've got to be really careful you don't make scrambled eggs. Wow. Yeah. I've got a bit of a nightmare cutting this off. I just I just cut the whole top off, but. Here we go. We're in. We're in. We're in. So what we, what we could do, we could either heat that in the microwave. Yeah. Or we can heat it on the hot. hot. Oh, are we going to do it, Sally? We'll do it on the hot. Because that's what the hub's for. Yeah. So we're going to use a saucepan. Saucepan. Yeah. Want to pour it all in. Yeah. Custard, custard, custard. Oh. Okay. I just don't think people at home are understanding how excited I'm going to be to eat apple crumble. And custard. Because I just love it. Yeah. Are you excited, Sally? I am. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so just put your hob on too low. Yeah, it should be on there. Yeah, low to medium. And you will need to stir it so it can burn. With a spoon or with a spoon? Use a wooden spoon because it eats. Yeah? Only because metal, metal spoons get hot. And spoons don't. That's right, because metal conducts heat right. and wood yeah. doesn't. Would you have that? Did <laughs> you get it? Yeah. You know? Joke was a bit wooden, wasn't it? It was. Put some loose in there, Steve. We need like capacity in our saucepan. Oh, some new acting too cold anyway. Some weirdo might want to eat cold custard. Who eats cold custard? You're not like trifle. Say, there's weirdo, like I love rice pudding. Rice pudding with a little bit of jam in it. Oof, now we're talking. Oh. But some weirdos eat it cold. Psychopaths. Yeah, I like it I like it when you get the skin on top and it goes all crispy around the edges with rice pudding. Bake rice pudding, no? Good. i to make sure that no skin goes on my custard. Well, not on my bowl anyway. Yeah. Well, if, you, if, you're make, if you're making custard and you have to leave it to, stack, leave it to, to stand for a bit, the way of stopping that is to, rather than put your sugar in the custard, sprinkle it over the top and it stops the skin forming. Ah. Top tips from yeah. Sally. <laughs> Sally's top cooking tips. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit of squeeze cake on top. Go away and leave it. Some people like skin. I know, yeah. I just weird, aren't they? Some people are weird. Yeah. Remember I had a conversation about the other day, Sally? There's some absolute weirdos who dip toast in tea. In tea? Yeah, in a cup of tea. Put it all into the bottom of your cup. Yeah, it's just it's wrong. Got some I've got some friend down south, Samuel Short, you know who you are. He dips his toast in tea. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not even sure whether I should call them friends anymore, Sally. Yeah. What do you reckon, guys? I would, I would, I'd dip my toast in my soup. Yeah, because that's like croutons. Yeah, or tomato soup and toast. Yeah. Like, I'll be honest, and I know I'm on my own on this, and this might be controversial, I don't like dipping biscuits in me tea. They've got the right biscuits, though. Yeah, but just any biscuits, I'm, I'm just not a fan. So yeah. then when, like, some people say that they dip toast in, I'm like, I'm not sure we can be friends. So it depends on the biscuit and dipping your tea. You want one that stays solid. Wow. Well, that doesn't all break in half and end up at the bottom of your tea, end up with a sort of yeah. bottom of your tea. Solid. See, but then when you get a hop knob, your hop drinks a cup of tea for you. You look in your mug. Well, that, that was the biscuits I was thinking of, but I wasn't going to mention yeah. any brand names. There are other, other road biscuits available. There are OT, other OT selection of biscuits available. All they have to do a really nice like OT crumble bit biscuit that's like a like a hobnob. But yeah. So what's your favourite biscuit then? Um Dunno, you know. It's a tough one this. I like I like the foxes, like not the jammy dodgers, but the jammy rings with like a little bit of sugar in, in the middle of the jam. Oh yeah, yeah. I yeah, love yeah. them ones. Yeah. And I love party rings as well. But I've been slated for that. 
I like the, uh, is it the, the, the Crunch Crumble Foxes ones, where it's like the, yeah. they, like, they were pre Oreos, they, like you get them now, but they, they, were the, they were the biscuit before people started getting Oreos. But yeah, then, Pop Knobs are nice, Oti Crumble, nice. Mm -hmm. But I kind of don't dip them in my tea. I was thinking maybe make some biscuits. Oh. Make biscuits. We could. Ginger biscuits. Here we go again. I'm sick of it. I was going to say ginger nuts. See, I don't like ginger nut biscuits. Oh, well, we'll make those then. Uh, I like ginger nut biscuits, I like rock hard. You could like. If you drop one of them on someone's head, they'd be seriously hurt. But don't fall apart, you could be taken. That's a good point. Ginger biscuits don't fall asleep either. So, if you're not making. They were not, not making ginger biscuits. How about shortbread? Shortbread. Like shortbread? I like shortbread. Yeah. Uh, flapjacks? Not a fan of flapjacks. Not a fan of flapjacks. I'll eat them, but I'm not a fan. Right. It could be for me, though. Really. That's a point. I'd have ginger flapjacks, wouldn't it? <laughs> chocolate. A bit of chocolate on it. What no, what I do you like? Tiffin cake, which is a no bake cake. Ah, that's. They can make it like a rocky road one. Yeah, that'd be easy. Well, that's that to have a cooler day. Yeah, we, we don't want no air. Uh, cooler freezer. There's a little bit of. No, no, there's a little bit of the carton where it cuts it off. Ah, uh, right. Not spotted. That's hot. Yeah. So you should be those pans, the metal pans. Yeah. How, how warm is that now? That's it's bubbling. Is it bubbling? Yeah, it's bubbling. Unless you like it really, really hot. Right, that's ready to go. It's too hot, why should we keep going? No, right. So there we have, we have our apple crumble. We have our custard. We have a bowl, we've got a spoon. Yeah, I'm going to save it out to the team because look at that, it's got a nice crunch on it. Okay, that's hot. Now, do you like more crumbles topping or less crumbles topping? Uh, I like both. Both, right. It's, it's got to have that consistency. It's got to have, you've got to have the apple, but you've got to have... Yeah. You've got to have the uh, crumble too. Mm -hmm. Check out the one. We've got the spare one in the oven as well. We have. So, so I'm pouring this out. Um, is it ladle on the side? There is a ladle. So some grey stand there. Be ladle on there. Yeah. Sally, this one's for you. Is it? Yeah. Do you want it all over? Yeah, go on. Okay. Got plenty of custard. Mm-hmm. Sally, tell me what you think. Oh. Get your laughing chops around that. Right. Oh. Oh, that custard's really nice. It's nice when you say that. Mm -hmm. So I've got a bit of crumble, a bit of apple, a bit of blue this to be. It's pretty hot. Chops are good, then. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Right, see you next week, guys. See you next week. Mm.